Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hype Gazette, here with the next video, and this is the attack meta video I've been uh, working on for a little while now. I like to do this series every once in a while just to show you guys what's working at Town Hall 9, 10, and 11, what your best bet is, um, what attack strategy you, sh you should look to use, and I think this uh, kind of provides a window for people who aren't in some of the you know really competitive wars to see what's being used, what the cutting edge uh, types of attacks are. So we're gonna start with Town Hall 11 right now, and I do have to apologize because this is an attack that I have shown on the channel um, about a week or two ago. I believe I I, uh, sh I showed you guys this attack, but still I think um, it's worth just showing in the background. I can talk about Town Hall 11 a little bit, and then we'll get into some more of the attacks that are uh, that are new to you guys. But you can probably still learn from this attack if you haven't seen it. Uh, or if you, do, you know, don't remember what happened or whatever, um, it's a good re refresher, I guess, because Town Hall 11 attacks, are, uh, three star attacks are hard to come by. So let's talk a little bit about Town Hall 11. Um, we're not seeing a whole lot of variation. This is the main go-to. Basically, it's the Golem kill squad with the heroes behind, just a very small kill squad, not using many spells, just for the CC troops, the queen, and one air defense, get those essentials down, and then from there it's just a big uh, laloon around the rest of the base. Um, sometimes f uh, features a clone spell, which is pretty cool, um, something that we're not seeing at other town hall levels, so that's something there, sometimes a heal spell, a lot of uh, freedom to use what spells you want, but one thing to keep in mind is the warden is typically used as part of the air attack. Now there is variation, you can use a bigger kill squad if the base has more to offer, if the inferno is within reach, you can try to use a bigger kill squad, even use that warden with your heroes, and try to bite off more of the base with the uh, ground part of your, of your attack, that initial push, and then use less for the air. Um, you have a little bit of freedom for that, but um, besides that uh, little bit of freedom in that regard, we're not seeing a whole lot of variation. We're not seeing much ground attacks, so uh, not many changes. I mean, this is kind of new that we're seeing three stars at all, but this is the consistent strategy that we're seeing working, and one thing to notice is that late ability. That's how you want to do it. You want to save that Warden's ability as long as you can, because typically you're going to need it for that last Inferno Tower when you run out of spells and stuff. It's a good thing to have. Uh, with those level 7 balloons, pretty tanky and one thing we're starting to see some bases change the lower town hall 11s are starting to make their bases um, anti three star in a way by putting their air defenses kind of offset stuff like that and I'm not sure how that's going to affect Town Hall 11 because we're just starting to see it being used over the last week or so. So we'll kind of have to sit around, um, see how Town Hall 11 changes. I think it's going to affect the Town Hall 11 two-star attempts by Town Hall 10s. Probably make it easier to do that if the base is more anti-three-star oriented. So we should see a change in that regard if a lot of bases start trying to defend against the three-star attack right here. But there are ways to defend both, and maybe I'll eventually get to a Town Hall 11 video. Uh, but for now, let's actually let's talk about Town Hall uh, 10v11 a little bit. I have two attacks to show, and it's something that's worth going through because Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 11 is huge in wars. Getting those two stars, um, not wasting too many Town Hall 10 attacks, that's something uh, Genesis can improve in because we're, you know, not as much anymore, but we did for a while struggle to take out some of these Town Hall 11 bases, and I think it's worth kind of considering how it's being done. The main thing we're seeing, and this has been a continuity for a long time, is the Baby Dragon Valk combo. Uh, we'll take a look at one more attack after this, but the Baby Dragon Valk is probably the top strategy. Um, there's two that are uh, the top ones, and there's variations, of course, within those. But the idea for almost any Town Hall 11 two-star attempt is you have to get the percentage, then you have to get the Town Hall, or vice versa. You have to get both, and typically you do it through separate um, types of your attack. You don't do one big push, because inside the base, it's a lot harder to get percentage than it is outside the base. Now, notice how Black Ice leaves those two army camps up. Uh, to kind of draw his Valks in. You don't have to take out all of that because the Valks will get it. Just focus your baby dragons on what your kill squad won't get because uh, that's where the extra percentage will come from. I like how he drops the jumps ahead of time, getting those spells down early, the poison down early. Biggest mistake is people dropping their spells too late, so he does a great job uh, just getting it done right there. Uh, so good stuff. Everything moving into the base there. Um, pretty easy town hall, looks like. Actually, I think it's a little bit close if I remember this attack. Um, 
as far as the town hall going down. Yeah, right there, some of the barbarians on it, they get it down barely. Just as things peter out, the queen stepping up here, she will get a few more percentage, but the baby dragons at the beginning is what gets him, I think, like 33%. And if you can do that, you're in pretty good shape. People are starting to put their air defenses towards the outside. That does two things. One, it defends baby dragons better because the air defenses can cover more of the trash buildings. Second, it also helps defend the... Uh, three star attempts because if the air defenses are towards the outside the lava hand lava hounds can't take tank as well um, and the balloons um, as a result will get taken out easier so that's one thing for you town hall 11 base builders to think about put those air defenses farther to the outside this base actually looks a little more anti three with those four air defenses all kind of offset on the bottom left part of the base here so this one um, is actually one of the newer Town Hall 11 bases, I'd say. We're looking at Hannibal taking it on. And this is um, Bowlers. And keep in mind, the Baby Dragons don't have to be, um, they're not required. Sometimes it makes sense to bring some Balloons and a few Haste. Take out an Archer Tower or two, which opens up a lot of space for your Minions. The important thing to remember, though, is if you're getting your percentage at the end of the attack, that Eagle better go down to your Kill Squad. Otherwise, just drop the baby dragons at the beginning, get your percentage while the eagle is not activated, and then just uh, send your kill squad in. It'll have to deal with it anyway, because you don't want to have the eagle taking out all your percentage troops around the outside of the base. So uh, right here, um, Hannibal elects to just go in with the kill squad, and the benefit of doing that is the eagle won't activate quite as quickly, which allows your kill squad to stay up longer. But he knows he can get the eagle taken out, and as a result, um, he doesn't have to worry about hurting his baby dragons. So 35% is going to be a little bit close here, but 7 baby dragons, that should be good for about 15%, and I believe it is um, as we wait for those to go down. This guy, um, kind of like the Town Hall 10 base I built a while back, has all the archer towers, wizard towers, air targeting stuff on one side of the base then the air defenses on the other so definitely had three star attempts in mind while he was building this base um, so Hannibal being a little bit cautious here drops the minions where the free buildings are that's how you want to do it drop the baby dragons on the contested buildings and uh, that'll pretty much do it so it's just kind of whatever you need to do to get the percentage in the town hall but like I said Valks and Bowlers are good for the initial push and then baby dragons or balloon minion or something like that is good for the percentage um, and we should see these attacks get a little bit easier possibly if the town hall 11 bases shift towards anti three star at least some of them possibly so that's going to sum up town hall 10 v 11 uh, let's go ahead and get into this town hall 10 v 10 um I have two attacks to show today this one is on a bit of an older base um kind of the the bases we don't see as much anymore because the new attack meta can take them out uh, relatively easily. I made a video on this, but I think I'm going to show one more attack. You guys, if you want to see more of this, can go back and check out my, um, what I call it, the Va La Loon uh, attack strategy video for Town Hall 10 because that's what's working. Basically, a queen walk um, on these spread bases to come in, get the air defense, the queen, the CC troops, the inferno, all that good stuff then the king and the valk kind of separately but also not separately they meet up with the queen which is super important because uh, that way uh, there's tanking for each other the queen's gonna stay up longer if she has some help out in front so um, sends those troops right up towards the uh, that next air defense with that jump spell right there things actually work out really nicely here because there's nothing uh, attacking the flank basically is taking the base head on uh, the town hall acts as kind of a buffer there is that expo coming in from the side but besides that there's not a whole lot of defenses the queen's dealing with the cc troops right here she's gonna get kind of low but she gets through them uh the valks definitely helped uh, at least i don't know how many valks there were but that definitely helped uh here comes the lava hound the balloons just coming at this base uh methodically has the haste to keep those balloons moving lava hounds on that first air defense more balloons more hastes he has that heal spell as well which um is something we're seeing more at town hall 10 and even town hall 11 we're starting to see the heal which kind of started off at town hall 9 uh, to heal the balloons also kind of making its way through i think people are seeing the value in having those balloons uh healed as they take on that last part of the base so um Heli case, I guess, if that's how you say it, uh, does a great job on this base here, and now it's just about cleanup. Uh, very good stuff, and I believe this was a fresh hit as well. 
So uh, that will uh, do it for that attack. And then we have, I believe, one more uh, Town Hall 10 to attack to look at. And it is against a kind of a meta base, I guess you could call it. One of the newer type bases. You can see this base has those air defenses all offset at the top there um, by the cannons and stuff. But uh, Vengeance does a great job taking out this base, uh, coming at it with the Queen Walk. Um, and basically it's going to come in, get all of that air targeting stuff at the top or the bottom part of the base, and then use the La Loon on the top. Even though there's all four air defenses up there, there's not a whole lot of stuff besides that that can hurt his Lava Hounds or Balloons. So he's investing quite a few Rages, has three of them, and I believe he uses all three on his Queen. Just going to douse her in that. But it helps because the Inferno Towers are out of range. She's not going to step into range of the Infernos for a long time. Um, she'll get all three Expos, the Defensive Queen, the CC Troops, um, Lava Hound and Balloon come out. So I think that uh, not too hard to deal with. Lava Hound will take up some time. But the Poison Spells are good. The Balloon goes down. And uh, she will, unfortunately, have to be under the uh, attack of three point defense so he's really going to have to make sure he uses the rages and the ability wisely um, right here I believe the next rage goes down pretty close should have dropped that a little bit earlier but uh, works out okay and by dropping a little bit later it'll last long enough to take out um, all those defenses the king coming in to support that's something that I think is a really nice technique we're seeing it at tons of different town hall 10 attacks is having the king kind of uh, not start off with the queen, but just meet up with her and help take out a little section of the base, help guide the queen walk through, provide some extra tanking when the rages and the ability runs out. But he actually still has his queen's ability, which will be helpful as she moves even deeper into the base. Uh, crazy how much value he gets. Nice and patient on the king's ability. Because there's not that much damage, you don't want to overdo the king's ability. Um, if there is a lot of damage, though, make sure to pop it early so you get the most value. Um, kind of have to be careful there with the king's ability. But anyway, here comes the Laloon. There is one Inferno still up but he comes at it pretty much directly with those balloons and the haste they'll go from the tesla to the to the um, inferno tower take it out and you can see the queen stepping up for air defenses it's crazy how much she went through the space right here but you got to be creative on these uh town hall 10 bases that have the offset air defenses the uh the classic strategies aren't going to work as well you got to be creative you can still use la loon as you saw in this attack but there has to be some kind of variation to help you get the edge over the base. So at Town Hall 10, we are seeing a little bit of uh, Valks and Bowlers um, that are not going to be shown in this video. Um, kind of niche attacks on certain bases that call for them. But this is by far still the most popular strategy. And I think it will adjust to... Uh, to deal with some of these new bases. The bases are getting better and harder to three star, but still I think we will continue to see this strategy, whether it's a queen walk, um, a kill squad with bowlers, uh, Valks, something like that. Um, I think we'll continue to see La Loon in the future of Town Hall 10, even with the bases changing. So nice attack there. Let's move on to Town Hall 9. All right, first attack, uh, we're gonna look at three attacks from Town Hall 9, the three kind of most common strategies I see. This first one is a thing that we see in Genesis all the time. Saw in Immoral Thieves a little bit too. Um, just an all around reliable strategy. Coming at the base with a stoned, which is three golems, or sometimes two golems. There's a little bit of freedom to choose there. But uh, a heavy golem, bowler, hero, wizard, just a very heavy kill squad. You can even bring in a few Valks if you want. Uh, but the bowlers, the golems are the main thing. And just coming through the base, it does require higher level heroes for the most part. You can compensate with some wizards. If you don't have access to bowlers in your CC, uh, you can do P.E.K.K.A.s or Valks maybe. But um, it's ideal with high level heroes and bowlers. That's going to be your best bet for taking out a base with this strategy. And basically you just come through the center of the base and take out... Um, two, three air defenses, hopefully three air defenses, the defensive queen, of course, and from there, just uh, come in with the lava hound and the balloons. You want to invest most of your spells in either jumps to move your troops through the base, the uh, ground troops, that is, um, a rage, typically for the bowlers at some point, 
and then a heal spell, which I typically would recommend dropping on your bowlers if they hit a giant bomb or something, uh, but you can use it on your balloons, and I think uh, Dirty Dancing here actually gets swags that he doesn't even use the heal, but it probably would have helped on the bowlers, which actually got pretty low at one point in the attack, I think, or the balloons, which have to deal with that wizard tower, but he's able to make his way through the base without having to use it, so it works out really nicely there. Um, awesome attack, but that's pretty much it. Just a big kill squad, come through the base, get a few air defenses, um, just get some, you know, really deep, and take out all the essentials, and then from there you can just get the skeleton of the base, uh, that outer ring taken out with the Laloon, uh, easy targeting for the balloons, not a whole lot of depth, they have to go into the base to take out uh, the rest of the, the the rest of the defenses. So started a little bit late on this attack uh, right here, but this is another variation we see. And I know right away because I'm not showing like a queen pop or whatever people call it, a mass, a penta, um, an attack like that. People are gonna be wondering why because that's a common strategy. But the truth is, I'm not seeing penta or queen pop or any kind of mass air attack that much in these competitive wars. Um, any Moral Thieves or One Hive Genesis, I guess those are the two places um, that I get my content from, so maybe people are using it in other clans more, but even the people we're facing aren't using it that much. I think it's more of a non-CWL thing, it's maybe like a kind of mid-level war clans are using it more than some of the uh, kind of the top uh, highly competitive war clans in CWL and stuff. That's just kind of my hypothesis, but uh, we are seeing it a little bit. I have seen one or two attacks in the last few wars with it, but um, more popular than the Queen Pop or the Penta is the Queen Walk air attack, and I think it's just the other side of the coin at the last attack we saw. If the base calls for uh, a Kill Squad based attack, go with the Kill Squad. If it calls for a Queen Walk instead, uh, do that, but either way you're still using the same back end Laloon. Typically you're going to be a little bit heavier if you're only bringing a Queen Walk. You're going to bring probably two to three Lava Hounds instead of just like one or two as you saw in the last attack. You're going to bring a few more spells for them and invest more in the air if you're using a Queen Walk. So keep that in mind. Uh, when deciding whether to do the Queen Walk or the um, the stoned hope or not the, the bowler golem kill squad thing you saw in the last attack whatever you want to call it um, when you're deciding that you want to look at a few things but the main thing is um, can a queen walk work can I get good value because it's kind of the thing where a queen walk is more efficient if it'll work if there's you know there's not gonna be a lot of whole lot of defenses on her if she can the pathing is easy for your queen walk that should be the priority can I do a queen walk then in maybe 60%, 70% of the cases, the answer is going to be, eh, I don't know. And if it, it's not as reliable, it's a little bit more risky. So if that's the case, go with the uh, kill squad based attack. It's a little bit more reliable. It's not incredibly base specific. You can do it on a lot of different bases as long as the stuff's there to be taken out in the middle. On a base like this, though, it is a little bit hard to move a kill squad through because it's a weird shape. So keep that in mind as well. The queen walk uh, works a little bit better for these weird type bases but uh, they both are very um, they adapt well to different bases so it's not base specific at all you can use either of those last two attacks which are both probably the most common attacks we see right now either one of those uh, works great on Town Hall 9 bases uh, most Town Hall 9 bases so let's take a look at one ground attack and I guess it's a little bit boring because we're not seeing a whole lot of variety but I'm just kind of trying to show what works and what we see the most and uh, the next one is just a hog attack. Um, hogs are pretty popular, not as popular as air right now, but they're still very strong. We're seeing a lot of stuff working at Town Hall 9, and I'll talk about some of the stuff you aren't seeing in this video very soon. But um, yeah, this one is, it can be done with a queen walk or a kill squad, just like the uh, its counterpart, the air attacks we just looked at. So um, a tornado top hat, top hat elects to use the queen walk, which I think is a, a good a good idea if you can take out a, a significant part of the base with it. You just got to be careful with your healers not getting hit by the air defenses, but it can work well. And uh, if you don't have to invest many rages, that's the best uh, scenario because 
if you have to do a queen walk that uses two rages, for example, typically it's not going to be worth it. That's too much. But right here, I think he only has to use one or none. Actually, he could have used the ability, but he elects to use the rage instead. Uh, that's kind of his choice there. But uh, either the queen walk or a, just a big uh, stoned hobo with the uh, uh, the the three golems, the bowlers, send that kill squad into the middle of the base, use most of your spells there, then just uh, sprinkle in a few hogs on the other end of the base, that should get the job done. Um, but the queen walk works nicely as well, it's a good complement, and you can see it was separate from the kill squad. You can also have it meet up with the kill squad as they enter the base. Uh, a lot of um, liberty to decide there, so that's going to do it. Um, a few things to mention, we're seeing the... Uh, um, Valks work a little bit at Town Hall 9, some kind of Valk based attacks. Um, usually usually hogs are what they uh, what they involve as well, so like a Valk kill squad with hogs on the other end. We're seeing dragons and witches kind of as a niche attack. Not that popular, but um, I have made videos on them and they are used occasionally, uh, so you can check that out a few videos back. And finally, um, the I think it's called Grundinator, some people call it, but it's the Valks, Pekka's, bowlers healers and then like four rages just a very heavy dps attack that is still being seen a little bit so nothing's really going away at town hall nine we're just seeing attacks emerge as the most powerful in this case it's going to be the air attacks you saw and then some hog attacks like this one so hope this video helped uh, make sure to share it with your clan mates if it did and uh, i guess i'll see you guys in the next video i should make you know an attack meta video once a month or sh one I can't talk one once a month or so uh, going into the future to help you guys um, kind of see what you should be using at each town hall level. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bisect the Tron out.